Hey guys, Valentine's Day is quickly approaching and I thought I would do this glitter fun Valentine's Day look that you can either go on a date with or you can even just go out with some friends. Um, and I paired it with this nice bold pink lip. If you would like to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching and like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Filling in my brows. I already did my foundation and I'll have the link in the description of what I used on my face. So yeah, we're just filling in the brows. Next, I'm going to be taking this brow powder by Morphe and I'm going to be filling it in with this angled brush. This is the best angled brush ever, guys. You have to buy it. Next, I'm going to be taking this flat definer brush and I'm going to be taking this concealer. And we're going to carve out these brows to make it look more defined and cleaned up. Next, I'm going to be taking this Morphe brush and I'm going to blend out all of this concealer. So that way it looks nice and blended in. Now I'm going to be using this NYX eyeshadow base. This is one of my favorites and I'm going to be placing this on the lid to hold my shadow in place. Now you just want to buff that out and blend it all in. Taking this beautiful Kylie Royal Peach Palette, I'm going to be taking the color Peachy with the M443 brush and then we're going to blend it right onto the crease. Now I'm going to be using Kylie's brush that came with the palette with the color Crush and we're going to blend that right onto the crease as well. Now I'm going to be taking this Morphe R41 and the color Cinnamon and we're going to be blending that into the crease to add more definition. Taking the NYX eyeshadow base again, a little trick that I do, I place this on the lid so that way the shadow stays in place even better and also it just carves it out really nicely. Now I'm going to be taking this color Sorbet and I'm going to use this color to pack on the lid. Next I'm going to be using the NYX Glitter Glue and sorry I didn't get this in the picture but I will link it down in the description box below. But the NYX Glitter Glue works amazing. Now I'm going to be packing on NYX Glitter. This is a loose glitter and it's in the color Crystal. It has little flakes of um, different colors in the glitter. 
This is one of my favorite glitters. And we're just going to pack that on little by little. Glue, then pack on the glitter, then glue, pack on the glitter so that way it doesn't dry out. Next, I'm going to be taking these Mink 3D Lashes and Big Shot Mascara. I'm going to first coat my lashes before I put the lashes on. Now I'm going to be using this Duo Glue along with these tweezers to apply these lashes. And I'm just going to coat the band and then I'm gonna just place them right on the lash line. Now I'm just gonna coat these lashes to blend them in with the fake lash. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tape Shape. This is one of my favorite concealers. You know, everybody's talking about this right now, and it is really good. I'm going to also be placing this on my chin, my forehead, and my nose to further highlight. And now we're going to blend it all out with a beauty blender. Next, we're going to be taking this Airspun Translucent Powder to bake and set under the eyes and also on the places where I highlighted. Now I'm going to be using IT Cosmetics Translucent Powder and I'm going to be using this little powder puff that it comes with to pat on the areas where I get oily and then this also helps set the concealer even more. This stuff is amazing. It's going to leave your face flawless and oil free all day. This was recommended to me by my bestie Vanessa. Now I'm going to be dusting away all of this loose powder and we're going to have a flawless finished look. Now taking this NYX matte bronzer in the shade medium. This is a nice golden, perfect tone for my skin. And we are gonna bronze up the cheeks, forehead, and jawline. I'm going to take this small angled fluffy brush and I'm going to use this to contour and I'm going to be using the same NYX bronzer for that. Now taking that same brush that I used to uh, wipe away the under eyes, I'm going to just buff out this bronzer and blend it all in so that way there's no harsh lines. 9N palette and I'm going to be using this middle blush color 
and I'm going to pop that right on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going to be taking my favorite highlighter, Becca Champagne Pop, and this fan brush, and I'm going to just pop that right on the uh, top of my cheek. Now taking my finger, I'm just going to pop some highlighter right on the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. Now taking that color Crush, I'm going to use that right on the lash line, and we're going to blend that all in. Now I'm going to be taking their Real Benefit Lash Mascara, and this is just a little sample that I got from Ipsy, and I'm going to be using this on the bottom lashes. Now for my favorite part, I'm going to be using the Coco Collection Ochre. You know, I can't do it like Chloe, but I try. And we're just gonna be popping this right on the lips. Such a beautiful color. This color is so perfect for Valentine's Day. If you guys haven't tried any of Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, you need to. They're so good and they last all day. And that is it for this Valentine's Day look. If you guys liked it, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will put all products in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Bye!